Hi, welcome back to Partick Hill Station. Uh, a couple of little tips and tricks today. Uh, one on cleaning track. Uh, question was raised by Jill um, on the Railway Modeler uh, forum. And uh, second part would be on uh, stabilising your wagons, adding weights to them uh, and other aspects of... Uh, ensuring or improving uh, on better running. Anyway, let's go and see what was happening. I use a product called Mr. Clean. It's available here in Toronto. It costs about a dollar fifty at the dollar store. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty dirty. And basically you just wipe it along like so. And you see what it picks up. So I'll turn it over the other side, which isn't as bad. And there you go. That's the grime that is on the track. And I use this on a regular basis. Uh, so obviously the other question uh, would be, how do you clean? Uh, the wheels, well, it's the same concept. Uh, you've got to clean them on a regular basis, um, either with this or uh, a grinding wheel if you have uh, such a, an animal. Um, but it's best to employ both and uh, do your best to keep everything clean. But <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Clean, about a dollar fifty here in Toronto. I hope that's been helpful to you. Well, another item I use is 99% isopropyl. And I use it in combination with this old Triang uh, wagon, permanent way department. That's the one with the, uh, the piece of foam cloth. And uh, I just, you know, cover that in isopropyl and it run it around a few times on each of the tracks. And, and that really helps too. So here's another tip and trick uh, for to help with better running. Uh, this is a, a Lima wagon. Uh, I've made into a milk wagon. Now the couple of things here. Uh, plastic wheels, uh, which isn't always a good thing. And weight, this is very light. Um, I'm going to put some of these weights on uh, to help. Uh, stabilize it, prevent it from popping over uh, points and also another thing you need to take into consideration is uh, the type of coupling and if the hooks are properly aligned. I'm not really sure of the exact um, position that they should be in and what impact uh, that bar would have uh, on the adjacent one. So, you know, if you get two different type of manufacturers, it may have an impact. But let's start by putting some weights on and, and then we'll go from there. These are the old Airfix uh, vans, uh, you know, made them into milk vans. Problem is they're so light they easily derail and what I'm going to do is stick on these uh, weights um, as you can see it's quarter of an ounce or seven grams uh, so I'll, I'll just do that next now I just noticed that this one here is made in England 
and I suspect check in the um, reference material to see if it was actually Hornby or maybe Dapol. Not really sure, but it is. You can see the equipment in the bottom there. Um, it's a bit different uh, from this one. Well, I can't get the weight into the bottom of this without <clears throat> cutting this back. I'll probably open it up and put it inside. So we'll see if there's any difference in the running of these wagons, which inevitably would pop off at some point. But as you can see, they're staying on the rail uh, through the points, which is a good sign. And sometimes that's all it needs is just a little bit of weight. And the other thing is often uh, the couplings get jammed up and I'm not really sure uh, what the solution is to that. Maybe it's just taking care uh, to make sure that they are properly engaged. And even the one wagon at the back there, uh, which doesn't have a weight on it, is holding its own. And that may be a result of the stability of the rest of the train. Well, that last milk burn, uh, I had to replace a wheel axle on it because the original wheel was broken now it seems to be having a little bit of movement now that may be because uh, the wheels aren't perfectly round um, and may have some rough spots that is another issue you should check uh, all your plastic wheeled wagons Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little tips and tricks tutorial. Um, if you did, please remember to give me the big thumbs up. You know how it works. Ring that bell and subscribe. Cost you nothing. And uh, we'll see you next time here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.